all right guys welcome back to a new video um i wanted to make a quick announcement before we started this video this is actually recorded after the video i just thought i'd say it now um i want to switch the way uh, i do content on my youtube i want to fo start focusing on mainly doing educational videos and like tutorial stuff you know and things like that because you know a lot of players in this game don't know how to do a lot of stuff and i i figured having a channel that has mostly that kind of content would be kind of interesting uh anyways uh let's get back into the video now Okay, so first we'll just start off with um, kind of like the basics. So uh, you always want to pull parallel to the surface you're on. Even if you're doing like a basic run like this, you want to be pulling parallel like this. So you're keeping your body low, low to the ground. Um, you know, even this is better than the starting run I was doing before, just to show you. You know, anything's better than that, really. Um, yeah, it's a pretty basic skill to learn, but just practice, you know, jog around, keep yourself low to the ground. Try to avoid doing stuff like this. And, uh, yeah, that's it for step one. Okay, the second thing I want to tell you guys is that, um, you want to move fast. Like, you want to move your hands faster on the ground. Because if you're going slow like this, you know, you will go pretty fast. But, like, you know, you can always go faster. Because how this game works is every time you pull your hand like this, for a second you hit a speed cap. You might be able to tell, like, if I pull for, like, a second, you see how I kind of, like, jut forward. That's kind of like breaking slash hitting the speed cap. So if you go faster, naturally, you'll get closer to that speed cap. Because if I hit once, you'll see I slowly decelerate. And if I hit like even just a little bit faster like this, I, get, I stay closer to it. By the way, that's not the final run of the video. I just wanted to show that to you. Uh. So now what you want to do is... um. I recommend taking your hands like this, and you can practice like a little bit. Like you can do like the J-Man funny run, where he kind of just goes like this. He puts, can, he pulls things in. I don't usually do that, but you can just go like this, and kind of like flick your hands, almost like you're doing like a Lucio. Um, you can do that, or what I like to do is you can do like the crab walk, where you go sideways like this. If I'm doing like a semi-fast run, I'll usually do it like this, because it's kind of easy to do. All I'm doing, by the way, yeah, if you're wondering what it looks like, because I'm recording, it might look kind of goofy. I'm pretty much just going like this. But fast. You're pulling it back with this hand. You're doing a little bit of a tiny circle with this hand. And, uh, yeah, that's really it for, like, the kind of, like, the basics and, like, the mid-ground of, uh, ground movement. Uh, now I'm going to teach you about the advanced stuff. And this is where it gets kind of wacky. So, after you master, like, a little crab run or some kind of, like, funny run. So, you're, like, staying basically at the speed cap. See, like, I'm going pretty fast. If I start going faster... I don't really go that much faster in game. It's probably marginally, like you wouldn't be able to really tell the difference. But what you can do is there are certain runs that you break the speed cap. And how this game works, it's very odd. So when you flick in game, like if you see like how I'm kind of like rotating on my wrist, I won't stick obviously because you know I'm not on like 60 hertz, which kind of pulls you down and stuff like that. But like for a second, I go kind of fast. Like I can show you on the tree better. Like if I do a pinch climb like this. You know, if I go up like this, I'm going like, you know, not that fast because I'm not doing it fast. But if I hold the pinch climb like this, yeah, and then I flick my wrist like this, like up and down. See so yeah, for a second, I'm kind of like going like just strangely, like insanely fast. So that's kind of what you want to do on ground. So what you want to do, there's like multiple ways to do this. The way I do it's kind of strange and it kind of feels awkward to get used to. But, you know, you'll get used to it if you want to try it. Is... The phenomenon is you have your backhand flicking kind of slow. You just do like a little wrist flick like this, kind of like with the other one, except you don't want to move your arm. Just do a little wrist flick like this. You don't do this one too fast. Like if I was just doing, if I wasn't doing anything with my front hand, the backhand would just look like this. Not very fast by itself. What you do with your front hand is what allows you to actually break the speed cap. What you want to do is you want to take your arm like this. I know it looks like I'm using long arms, so I'm going to show you the menu. I'm, I'm on base quest. Don't accuse me, please. Aww. What you want to do is you kind of want to do a circle like this and move your hand in like that. Not all the way, but like a little bit of a flick. So if I'm doing just my front hand, it would look kind of like this. I don't know how this looks on recording, but what I'm doing in game is I'm kind of going like this. It might like suppress my movements on recording because it kind of does that in game if you look at me or like other people look at you. 
But what you want to do then is you want to combine the two. So how it works is your backhand kind of like lets puts you back at the speed cap, and then your front hand lets you break it. Another thing is you're not moving them both insanely fast, kind of like the crab one. You're not like just moving them insanely fast like that. You want this one to be going like a tiny bit slower, and you're not really going as spastic. You're kind of just going like a little flick. This one you can kind of just go like spastic circles just in front of you, as long as you're flicking your wrist a little bit and you're doing big circles, it'll work. So what you can do with this is I'm not gonna get this first track because I'm warmed up yet, but like what you want to do is you want to do a run that looks like this. Also, I learned this like a week ago from my friend, so um, I might not be too good at it, but it looks like this. As you can tell, I was going decently fast. Um, I'm not gonna put like a timer or like a race thing on screen. Uh, you can just use your self judgment. If that doesn't help, um, I can make another like quick, shorter video explaining further how to do it. But like, I hope this quick little tutorial will help you. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to, you know, see the future content on my channel. Um, I mentioned it in the intro, but uh, I want to start focusing on tutorials that'll help people. As well, I will also be doing streams because streaming is fun, in my opinion. Um, I'll doing be doing educational commentaries, kind of like a, you know, that guy like Cipher PK. <laughs> Uh, if this video gets to one and a half likes, uh, <laughs> guys, I don't farm for likes, please just subscribe right now.